Hey, 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 welcome to a new Tuts Plus Quick Tip. I'm Adi, and in today's video, I want to introduce you to the wonderful and magnificent and wondrous world of Figma variants. Aha, so gone are the days where you would sift through the 1000 components of your design system trying to find the right one. With Figma variants, now you will only search in 20 components with 50 variants each much better. I'm just kidding. Uh, Figma variants are actually a really nice addition to what I think is the most awesome UI design software out there, IMO. Uh, they allow you to organize uh, your various styles or variations of a component very easily. So let me show you how to use them. But first, I have a very serious question for you. Have you ever heard about a website called Envato Elements? Well, if you haven't, you should check it out because with one subscription, you'll have unlimited access to assets like fonts, mockups, CMS templates, and more. There are millions of digital assets to choose from. They have simple commercial licensing and you can cancel anytime. Subscribe now using the link in the video description. All right, so uh, where were we? All right, Figma variants. All right, so before Figma variants were a thing, here's how you would make different variations of a component. You would start with the actual frames. You would design, for example, your button in, in its default state. Then you would create a hover state, then you would make a small variation of your default button, and then you would make the hover style for that small button. And then you would, of course, probably name these like button default, button default hover, button small default, and button small default hover. And then you would go and create a component out of each one. And whenever you need one of these, you will just uh, go to your um, assets page right here under components and you would drag it to your page. But that's like yesterday's news. Today is all about variants. So with variants, instead of having four different components, you would have a single component. Let's call this just simply button. Let's create a component. And if we look in the inspector here on the right, we can see variants and a big plus sign that adds a new variant. So let's do that. Now, this actually created a, a nice group or it turned our button component into a group that has multiple variants. So this is variant one, or the default, this is variant two. Now these variants can be organized by properties. Okay, so if I select my main group, you can see that the two I have, default and variant two are under property one. And I can do the following, I can say size, and I can have a default, and variant two will actually be called small, right? So now the button, has the default and the small size. And of course, on the small size, we can, uh, let's see what we did here, 14 pixels for the text and probably less padding, yeah. Like that. So now we have the default size and the small size. But then we can create another property, okay, apart from size. So we can go in here, oops, what did I do? select button again, uh, go here. And instead of adding a new variant, I'm gonna add a new property and I'm gonna call this style. So this is the default style, right? That you see here, but I'm gonna add a new variant and I'm gonna call this the hover style. Okay, and the hover style will basically just change the color of the text so uh, let me just copy this really quick, paste. And I think the uh, 
the background here is a bit lighter as well. There we go. So that is the hover default button. Cool. And by the way, you can resize these anytime. And then uh, I can also duplicate this uh, to create another variant. Uh, so size will be small and style will be hover for this as well. So I can just uh, copy the colors and like that and make this smaller and call this hover default button. All right, so now my button has four variants organized by two properties. Okay, the properties are size and style, and the variants are for size, default and small, for style, default and hover. So now, here's the cool part. Let's pretend that I'm working on a new page, right? I can go into assets and I can say, okay, I want a button. Click and drag. And then I can go into my inspector and I can say what size I want. And I can say what style I want. Maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I don't want the small. Let's go back to default. So based on what I select here, Figma chooses the appropriate variant from what I defined here. How cool is that? Now, let's say that you already have a couple of uh, components defined and you want to turn them into components with variants. Well, the easiest thing to do that is to properly name them, okay? Let's actually bring this in. And I'm going to set it to default default. And I'm going to remove the button. And I'm also going to detach this from the instance. So right now, we don't have any components, right? What you can do to properly name these is the following. Rename them the following way. The first string is your component name, in our case, button. Then slash the value of your first variant. Let's go with uh, size, so default, then another slash, and then you follow it up with the value for your next variant, which in our case is style. So let's go default. Next, let's go with this one, button, slash. Uh, we said what size, so this is again default, but the style is hover. Next, will be button slash small slash default. And finally, this one will be button small hover. So now you take all of these, you would go over here where it says create component or create multiple components. We want to create multiple components. Click that. And with all of them selected, under variants, click combine as variants. Okay, so now we have a single button component with four variants. And now we can go ahead and define our properties. So size and style. See, much easier. So now, same thing as before, let's say we're designing something, we go, we get our button and we can choose which variant of that component we want to use. Very, very simple. Now, let me show you an example from a real project that I did. This is a portfolio website that I'll be building for a course on Tuts Plus, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to show you much here. I'm just, uh, just going to tease it a little bit. So this is the home page. This is an about me page, and this is a contact page. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to show you too much. Now, under components, this is where I used Figma variants. So this is a header component. And I have uh, one, two, three, five variants for it. I have one where the destination page is contact, one that is about me, one that is the home page, uh, one that is for tablet, one that is for phone. Uh, I have a contact information component that 
again, I have two variations, one that is displayed like inline horizontally and one that is displayed vertically. Uh, then I have uh, a footer container again that uh, I'm using uh, some variations for or some variants. This is a laptop plus variation. This is a tablet variation. The CTA, the call to action, this is what it looks like on laptop, tablet, phone, right? So this, this is just one of the ways that I use Figma variants, but you can do so, so much with them. On uh, Tuts Plus, we also have a very cool tutorial written by my fellow Romanian, Andre Marius. Uh, you can uh, check out that tutorial. You'll find a link down below. Fantastic tutorial. He basically shows you how to uh, design like a playing, a card playing table in Figma. Really cool. And he uses a lot of Figma variants in there. So make sure to check out uh, that tutorial. And that's about it, folks, for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Adi. And until next time, take care.